why do you need the floating columns in the high rise buildings it is not a requirement from the structures point of view if i am a architect i'll take the all the columns till the foundation without transferring the load to the another bay all right so vertical forces it has to go straight away from the particular floor straight to the foundations but you require certain floating columns or transfer girders in order to facilitate certain architectural requirements for example the ramps for example the parking and many other areas and you cannot take those parking uh, uh, you know locations and those parking ideas to the upper floor which is the residential building or a commercial building areas which is habitable floors so in that case you will have different you know locations of the columns at the typical floor and different locations of the columns at the parking floor that's why you require certain place where you can transfer the load at the different grids and you will have a transfer girder in between as per indian code you cannot you know consider the transfer girders and the floating columns as a part of the lateral resistive sway so that's why we have to apply that particular forces to the central core which is straight away going till the basement all right so how do you do that how what are the scale factors you need to do what are the load combinations you need to apply for such kind of typical areas these are the critical things that you need to work based on that you need to design the buildings for you know high rise structures in the particular software yeah while designing the floating columns what happens is you require because whenever the lateral forces are coming when it comes to the earthquake loading or wind loading you need to be you know very sure that the critical points or the hinges does not form in these areas that's why you require the key element factors which is given in the ubc 97 code in certain indian codes also certain clauses are mentioned but in ubc 97 there are certain stringent clauses which we call it as the key element clauses where the plastic hinges does not form in such kind of transfer girders so i'm sure that as a structural engineer you will take care of this kind of things while designing the transfer slabs thank you so much bye bye